her name is isn't it um it's the it's actually the original it's actually the original name that uh Laurel had in the comics. Yeah. That's yeah. why that's why they kinda threw that Easter egg when uh when she It's Diana, her. isn't it? Uh yeah. That's what when they, they threw that little Easter egg when she told him told her uh all Oh, I knew it Diana. Name. Yeah. So they they threw that kind of Easter egg in there. Um I don't think she's been on long enough for you to really, I guess, uh, care a lot about her until they do mm-hmm. a little bit more. But you, but you kind of saw some things that I did like. She was actually con- giving him advice. Uh, yeah. Because because he was, you know, he was struggling. He was still struggling with morality, which is a thing common thing with him. He's always struggling with, with morality, and you know, she kind of she gave him advice. Same, you know. It, she looked a lot like something he would do for someone else, you know, where he's you know he's been able to give advice, he's been able to console people. He even did it for her, and you know she's kind of returned the favor in that particular instance. Yeah, but uh, I, I want to see how everything goes with uh, Prometheus. Yeah, that's kind of been disappointing the last couple episodes. We haven't seen Prometheus enough, in my opinion. Yeah, so it's, I mean... Because I really like Prometheus, like, a few episodes ago. He was really starting to get, like, real cool. I'm also... The interesting part of the show is I'm trying to question uh, his new girlfriend, the reporter. Yeah. I'm starting to question, like, I think they're trying to plant the seeds in the back of your mind. Okay, is she, like, how is she connected to Prometheus? Is she Prometheus? Like, what? It, why is she with Oliver? It seems like she has an alternative, uh, like, motive, like... Something that's not could be, yeah, we don't know about. Could be Talia. You think Prometheus could be Talia? Could be. I mean, who else has that kind of training? Hmm. Don't you think they would feature her more though? Oh, Talia. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at this point, I didn't know she even existed until we saw her. I was like, "Wow, Talia." Okay. Yeah, when he said Talia. Yeah, I was like, I didn't oh. mentioned her once before. <laughs> not to Nissa, not to Raish. I don't think Oliver likes talking about all the girls he's been with. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. That, that, I, I did, I did want to point out that the, the, uh, dig, the Diggle stuff with um, the new Canary. Mm-hmm. That, that, was, that was interesting. Yeah. I think Diggle's kind of... Because Diggle was there for Oliver at the beginning, right? Trying to uh-huh. get that side out of him. So he's trying to get that side out of her now. So I like that kind of connection. Um, yeah. But I, but I really like the Renee stuff. Hmm. Yeah. I, I, I think, because um, I didn't really, I think ever since his come back from his mid-season finale, I, I've been looking at it a little bit more. I think, um, <laughs> Like I said, the flashbacks don't aren't making a lot of sense, but you know you do get to see Talia. You do kind of get to see how it adds to what he ended up becoming when he went back to Star City. You know, she, she was talking. She sold him the book that his father had, and this whole time we thought it was kind of like he was that whole time on you know on the island and when he was going through different things. It was kind of like the book was a motivation, but we found yeah. out that she was the one who really got him motivated. You know, she. Got, gave him the extra training, which you thought it was training he already had on the island and, of course, in other circumstances. But you really saw that she motivated him to become someone else. Someone else to become mm-hmm. something else. Well, yeah, I love that line. <laughs> but uh, she, she also, like Prometheus, if you think about Prometheus, Prometheus, didn't Prometheus always know who Oliver was? Or was it only until Church told him? I, just, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it, it adds mystery, too. Cause we, yeah, I, I, I like the mystery of the season. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I I like Arrow this season. I think it's taken a big step forward, actually. So Yeah. I mean, season three is the low point. And season three had the potential, but it... Wow. That's, that's what about bad. season four? It... It was okay. Yeah, the they, end was they bad. They tried to throw the, the huge shock of 
killing off uh, Laurel, which I think was a mistake. But yeah, I didn't like that either. I mean, you, you you're killing off a character who I don't know was integral to the comics. Obviously, it's going to be different than the comics. Hence, why a character like Felicity exists was not even a character in the comics. But I don't know. I don't think you should have killed off Laurel or anything like that. I also like the fact that they got rid of uh, the other, the little girl. Yeah. And team, because there was just too many people on the team. Yeah, she she definitely she definitely had to go. So so pretty much they just made her the person that was the traitor. Yeah. But like I said, it, ever since uh, the mid season finale, I've been watching a little bit more. I was watching it here and there um, before the mid season finale. But, okay. But I've. I watched um, the last few episodes and I thought it's been relatively good. I've, obviously, the show has a lot to it has a lot to live up because you know, after season two, it just really hasn't caught that high that it had. Mm-hmm. I don't think it ever will, but it can still be really good. You know, you don't have to be that good. You can still be really good. Yeah. But uh, well, I I I, th- I think season one and two of Arrow are still the best seasons of any of the shows. Oh. Yeah. Especially, especially season two, the way they did that. Yeah. yeah. Cause that was even before Flash even came out. So mm-hmm. like, it was all grounded in realism. There was no meta humans. It was no aliens. None of that. We didn't know about any of that stuff. It was just Arrow. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't think any of that stuff would ever exist. But um, one show um, I mentioned to you that they have in the works, apparently. I don't know if they got. I don't think they've gotten the cast yet. And that is Black Lightning. You don't know who that is, of course. It, um, he's a lot like Static Shock in a sense. That's why I thought they kind of should have went with Static Shock instead of him. But I get they want to do something, some you know, another character. I, in my opinion, I think the reason they're doing it because they want to have a black character as the main lead <laughs> character. I'll say that. But well, uh, they have Wally, kind of. But he's not the main protagonist, though. But he's a major character, though. Wally, yeah, he's a major, a major character. character. But he's not the main protagonist. So they're trying to do Black Lightning as the main protagonist. Um, he's going to have his own show. He's not going to be on Legends. Uh, it's going to be tied. It's, he's, he's not going to be on Legends, but it's going to be tied to, of, of course, to all the other shows. Super yeah, Black okay. Flash, yeah. Arrow. It's going to be tied to all those. I just want to see how Diggle reacts to him. That's all I want to see. I don't think he's gonna be surprised. I mean, he's seen aliens, he's seen guys. But it's like, hilarious every time. Oh, because it was one episode. Uh, it was the episode before last when they were at the airport, and he mentioned yeah. aliens. He said, "Really?" <laughs> <laughs> he's the only one that's like surprised, still surprised by all the crap that he's, that he's seen. Like he fainted when he saw Supergirl. Yeah, it's funny. But uh, we'll have to see. Not a lot of information outside the they. Are gonna they are actually they approve the pilot to you know so they can do the show so we'll have to see it you know what they ended up end up doing with that um we can move on to the I think we got all the shows out of the way we move on to the DC like movies first I want to do and I want to talk about the animated movies have you seen um Justice League Dark I'm not sure if you're like into the animated movies the Justice League Dark the movie or the shows the anime the animated movie. I haven't seen it. I want to see it. Is it good? I I heard some mixed reviews. I heard it was good, and then I heard it was okay. Well, so it's, it's, it's a lot of characters that I would, I would say some characters that people really don't know about. Um, the people know who Constantine is obviously because of the show. Yeah. Uh, Swamp Thing. If you're a bit older, you know who Swamp Thing is. Um, because he had a show uh, way back when. Uh, you had Zatanna. Which, if you watch the uh, Justice League animated series that came out in the early 2000s, she was in yeah. a little bit. Also, she yeah, like I, the thing of the thing about DC's animation is, I felt like it was like at its prime in the late 90s, early 2000s, yeah. and like it, it's it's had some good shows here and there, like good movies. Uh, but I I feel like they've kind of gone. Obviously, it's animation, so they've gone a little bit more childish with it, which okay. is fine. Mm-hmm. Now, no, not really, because um, let me see. You had, cause, uh actually, uh, I Justice, still watch most of them. Justice League Dark's rated R. Is it really? It's okay, not, then I'll have to check it. It's up. not 
the uh, like the killing joke, but you can see that okay. some things was why it's rated R. There's cussing, there's blood. So um, it, it, it's some of the stuff, but a lot of stuff is definitely a little bit more mature um, in terms of the animation. Uh, in terms of TV shows, I don't think they've done a lot ever, ever since. Yeah. Really young don't they have since. a Don't they have a Justice League uh, show right now? Yeah, and that's the one that very kitty kind of like okay that. yeah they're, they're actually supposed to be uh doing the uh, season three for young justice which is a really good show yeah i've, I've seen the first couple seasons yeah they, they're gonna they're gonna do another season for that this is after waiting years for you know people been wanting another season they're gonna do another season for that um but yeah justice league dark like i thought it was good and show some uh it showed like how the Justice League had to deal deal with magic characters, and Batman's mm-hmm. actually through in the entire movie. He's actually there in the entire movie, and you kind of see his reaction to magic. <laughs> he's, it, there's moments where he just he just like grunts. <laughs> um, but did you see how they have to deal with magic and guys like that? Oh no! And it it, it kind of showed it like um, it was in the. Um, Young Justice, well, Justice League versus Teen Titans, where the the villain was a magic villain, and he saw they had to get help from another magic person. Um, and Raven, so you kind of see how they uh, deal with different things, how they have different um, teams and stuff, and all that stuff is connected. All those movies are all connected. Um, they just showed a trailer. They had a release date. I did not see what the release date was. It is called Teen Titans: The Judas Contract. There's actually a comic. Okay. This is a. Uh, I don't know if you remember the Teen Titan. Uh, if you watched the Teen Titan show that came out in the earlier two thousands, yeah, yeah, I watched show. that. Deathstroke's gonna be in it. Yeah, I saw that because yeah. they want to make the connection of Deathstroke, I guess, because he's gonna be in live action as well, yeah. the Batman movie. Yeah, so they want to get people prepared for that, I guess. Yeah, they want to show a little bit more with the character. Mm-hmm. That movie looked like looked like it's gonna be amazing. So they're still doing a really good job in terms of animation. Um, DC does everything well except they, the big screen right yeah, now. Live action stuff. They, they do the comics. Well. Like they do the animations great. The comics are uh, a lot better than Marvel from what I hear, even though I don't read a lot of comics. Uh, and then the, the games are the best. Uh, you know they have the the um, the shows. So yeah. the shows oh, are it's like close with the shows. The shows are close, yeah. but it's different platforms as well because they control the cable. And then, you know, Marvel controls Netflix and on-demand services. So, but one, one animation show I did see was Lego Batman. I did watch I that. I did not see that. How was that? It was hilarious. Yeah, like, the first, the first more, more 15 like, minutes was, like, really funny. Like, hilarious. Like, I was dying laughing the first 15 minutes. I don't know if I can spoil it for you guys. I'll just say that, I'll just say that Batman raps in the first 15 oh, minutes. Oh, my goodness. So it's really funny, um, but it kind of gets a little out there and like ridiculous. But it's really it's it's really funny. If you just want to have a good time and you like Batman, uh, you'll enjoy the movie. That's all I'll say. It's good. Yeah, and, and from playing, I played some of the Lego games. I kind of figured like, okay, it's gonna be, especially you know they already have like Lego Batman games. You already felt as though it was gonna be uh, kind of like parody. It wasn't gonna be taken. Yeah, it wasn't gonna take itself seriously. Oh yeah, it's all. definitely it's definitely parody. Yeah, it's it's especially if you know like if you're kind of like a a big Batman fan and you know the ins and outs of the character, they have a lot of fan service and a lot of just like you know little jokes that some people might not get. But if you get them, like they have jokes. They have so many jokes in the movie. It's like you're you're trying to process one joke and then the line later they have another joke. And it's like, okay, I just got over that joke, and now they're hitting me with this joke. Just continuous jokes. Yeah. I still, I still haven't seen it, so probably couldn't say much about it because I don't know exactly what happened. But I, I'm I'm probably going to go um, check it out at some point. Or yeah. I could wait for a Blu-ray. You know, it comes with a Blu-ray really quick. I don't know. But um, speaking of movies, you have... Wonder Woman that's coming out sooner than later. And June second. Yeah, so Yeah, you only have really two uh DC only has two movies, uh, live action movies that's coming out this year. And this is gonna make it or break it 
yeah, Wonder Woman is going to be a big deal. And then Justice League, we know that's that's huge. Especially if I think Wonder Woman is the biggest movie they've had. Because if Wonder Woman is great, then so many people are going to go see Justice League. Yeah, but if it's going to see Justice League all but in terms of, I I think they're going to see it regardless. But imagine if Wonder Woman is well received, especially with the yeah. hate from the critics that they've had. Uh, and then if Wonder Woman is bad, then people are just going to be trashing on DC. Like Justice League might be like the last saving, saving grace if if they can save it. Yeah. Like it's going to be a huge movie for them. They're gonna need uh, Wonder Woman to do well, and it's it's a lot of pressure on this movie, even more so than Batman v Superman, mm-hmm. because for sure, because uh, the their last two movie ventures have they had a lot of issues. You know, uh, Batman v Superman. You're talking about two of the biggest characters in anything, in, yeah, just in characters. Fiction. In general. Yeah. You get two of the biggest characters in fiction and your movie still kind of, you still, you, it's because you're, you're trying to do too much in one movie and hopefully they kind of slowed it down with Wonder Woman, at least in terms of the whole. And it is only action. one character. It's, uh, they're trying to do the whole, it's the first time we've seen Wonder Woman. I think it's going to be. Kind of a lot of people are going to be looking forward to it because it's the first time that you know we see a woman in the lead role of a superhero movie, which I think people will really like. So I think at at the beginning of it, like going into it, a lot of people will be very excited. It's just, is the movie going to be good? Um, So I think it will be. I think it will at least be like a lot of people are comparing it to Captain America, so I will as well. I think it will at least be the first Captain America. But I think it could be better because I think the action looks really good in the movie. Yeah, also from you know, what I saw, I think the action looks good. Cause I actually don't like the first Captain America that much. Um, I know it, the backstory in terms of uh, its accuracy to the comics is actually really close. Really, really yeah. Really good. Um, but I don't know. Something about the movie I just didn't like. I don't, I don't know. But uh, just looking at the trailers for uh, Wonder Woman, I really like the trailers. Mm-hmm. Um, then coming after that, uh, the Wonder Woman movie, you have Justice League, which comes out, I believe, in November, right? November, November 17th. Yeah. Um, that's another, yeah, that's going to definitely be a huge deal. What are gonna, Around Star Wars too, right? Yeah, uh, Star Wars or, comes out in December. Okay, Star Wars comes in December, but well, we'll get to Thor. Four. Thor is November 3rd, we'll get to that, yeah. yeah. Justice League, November 17th. So, two weeks after Thor. Yeah, and... This is going to be a huge deal because we want to see how they do, do it. What are they going to do with Superman coming back? Because he's going to come back. Come on, Superman. But, mm-hmm. it, I did, like I said, I didn't like the whole death of Superman in Batman v Superman. Uh, I, I didn't like it in that. It was just kind of a way to get them to come together. But There was too many things in that movie. Yeah. They, 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 they tried to do a lot in that movie. and it, Like I said, I... I saw people at the movie theaters because I went to go to the movies to go see this. I saw people at the movie theaters who were completely confused about what was going mm-hmm. on. And when, oh. you get, when you get your general audience confused yes. about what's going yes. on in your movie, when you're trying to show everyone, you don't have to be. You shouldn't have to be a comic fan or someone who exactly has experienced the characters in the past to be able to understand what's going on in your movie. Anyone should be able to understand this movie just by going and watching it. If you tell a coherent story. Without flipping and flopping everywhere. This is exactly what I wanted to say, Calvin. Good point. Because I wanted to say, it's it's, it's actually compar- uh, comparable to wrestling. Yeah. And I cover a lot of wrestling on my channel. Today, wrestling is too, it's too inside. It's too inside baseball. You know, it's too, it's too like you have to know a character from NXT to go to Raw and who the hell is this guy? I don't know who this guy is. Uh, the casual audience doesn't understand it. And that's the same as DC right now, which I think is the difference between DC and Marvel is like, even, even like, let's say Spider-Man when it came out in 2002, nobody needed to know what Spider-Man was to go watch Spider-Man. It's just a really good movie. You know, it's the origin story that could be their Spider-Man from that point on. So for Justice League and Batman versus Superman, I felt like I, I liked the movie because 
I'm I knew the stories of both characters. I've seen all the movies. I've you know read the comics, so I understand all the the little parts of everything. So I get it. But when you you're a casual fan of these characters, you don't know what's going on. You, you know, like if you're a casual fan of the comic books and just the comic book characters, Batman, Superman, whatever it is, you're not going to understand Batman versus Superman because you don't understand all the other things that they put in the movie where they didn't even dare explain what happened or explain what was going on. So for Justice League, I want it to be more casual audience driven. Like that is what makes Marvel so much better at this point. It's because when you saw the Avengers, you didn't need to know all the little things about every character. You didn't even have to see any of the other movies to watch the Avengers. It was just a good movie. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing with DC right now. Only thing watching the other movies would do is kind of explain, oh, this is it's that guy. Or yeah. uh, I, it, I know more about him. But that Especially you know, Iron Man, really. That, that's like that's an addition. You know, that that allows you to understand more about okay, these are the characters that's coming to this movie. Not without, you know, you just go watch just the Avengers itself. It, uh, you know, it's just like, okay, it's a, it's a good movie. You like the interactions between these characters. You may not know a lot about them, but the movie is easy to understand. And yeah. there are parts of Batman and Superman I do like. I do like, uh, mm. of course, you know, we're going to like the action scenes. I like the scenes with Batman. Especially with Batman. Yeah, yeah. I, like the, I like the scenes with Batman. Um, Wonder Woman, I don't think she wasn't in it enough. Obviously, obviously there's a lot of people Wonder generally Woman. did like Wonder Woman. Yeah, I like Wonder. I like Wonder Woman. And this had a bunch of question marks coming in uh, as Gal Gadot was a. Uh, a lot of people didn't like. Uh, she was small. Uh, you know, a bunch of bunch of crap that people were really complaining about. I didn't have. I didn't, I didn't have a problem. I thought she did a really good job. Hence why you know a lot of people are really hyped for this Wonder Woman movie. I am a little concerned on how she deals with being the main character because I don't think she's ever been a main character in any movie. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if she'll have the charisma to do that, which is the only concern I have about the movie because you need your lead actress or actor to be charismatic and to be able to control the movie. Wonder Woman, though. She's not charismatic. No. Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman comes from a place that is pretty much – Detached from society. Yeah, no I women, understand. No I understand what. So you I think she kind of fits that. If if you know, if that is how it turns out to be, because mm -hmm. you know, uh, looking at like the cart says, look at the cartoons. Wonder Woman. Only thing she's heard about really uh, with men is that they're pigs. The uh, pretty much men are evil. Well, any man is gonna like Wonder Woman. Yeah. Come on, and she's kind of like. So she doesn't really know about how things go in the, you know, uh, the regular world. So that could be something they play play at, but we don't know, at least from looking at the trailers, exactly how to, if she's had experience with people um, in the you know, regular world or is this her first time really coming back, from, coming from Themyscira. They do show Themyscira as a... Um, it looks cool. Trailers. Yeah, it does look really good. Um, I think one one actor that might help that is the the lead actor. Uh, what's his name? He's in uh, Star Trek. Uh, I for, f forget his name. I forget his name, but I think we know who we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I think he'll help with the charisma part to kind of carry that part. You know? Yeah, because hey, uh, she he's actually um, I can't remember his name. Jesus, I can't. Anything. But he, he was actually a, <laughs> um, a love interest in the comics. He was actually yeah. in the animated. Uh, if you've seen Justice, actually, yeah, if you've seen Justice League that came out in the early 2000s when they get yeah. knocked back into the future. I mean, into, back into the future. They get knocked into the past um, mm -hmm. during World War II. He's actually in that. And you, just, you see the interaction between those two. So what we've seen of him. But um, on to. Justice League, and this is the last movie that comes out really for um for this year for DC. Okay, you've had your Superman movie, um, you had your um, I guess the introduction to Batman, Batman v Superman, which was good. We like that. Um, I actually like Man of Steel. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I like Man of Steel. I I do too. I've seen it multiple times, and I I don't get the 
grievances about it. Like, I understand that it's a different Superman, and I do have a little bit of a problem with it's a too serious Superman, and Superman shouldn't be that way. He should be about hope. He shouldn't be about grim and that's dark. What of, that's what a lot of people complain about with that. Yeah, uh, but I'm I'm willing to get past that. Yeah, because I, I just think I'm, it's a different. And, and, you know, they wanted to go more of a darker uh, type Superman. I, I, it's a different interpretation. I don't really have a problem because there there have been times where Superman, um, like in the Injustice comics, yeah, he's a, he's a dictator in that, those comics. He's yeah, he's willing the, to kill people. He's willing to rule yeah. over people. Yeah, and and honestly, you're not gonna get a better it's hopeful Superman than Superman the movie, the first one or the second one. Yeah, and that's that's, the, that's like the perfect Superman, hopeful Superman. Yeah, you're never gonna get better than that. Yeah, that, that's what those Superman. Are. So I see that I can understand people's complaints because of that, and people wanted more of like that Superman. But I can't be. I'm not really too mad at him for. You know, it's just a different interpretation of characters. You had, you've had different universes where characters are different. So there's essentially there's no difference. So I, I like the movie. Um, I thought it told the story pretty much to a, a T. Um, a lot of people didn't like the pacing, but they had to start over. Did they watch Superman Returns? Did they? <laughs> the movie sucks. People said, like, it has a... Doesn't it have, like, a better rating on Rotten Tomatoes than... And Superman uh, Returns sucks. <laughs> and, and hey, people don't give don't, credit. The, the hey. guy who did Zod, freaking amazing. Oh um, yeah, really? He was. Yeah, he's really good. One the underrated aspect of and the the visuals of that movie is outstanding. Yeah, you saw some of the fights. You just you saw how powerful Superman is. That was something you can never do in the past. You can never do it in the eighties when you know, when you had the Christopher Reeve Superman. You you saw power. You know, Guys getting thrown into trains. You saw the speed that he was able to move at. Um, him him able to lift the entire like um oil, like an entire oil rig. You saw, it really saw how powerful Superman was at least on, you know, uh, the big screen live action. You know, you saw you see it in animation, but seeing it live action it just you just it just felt different. And I like like I said I like that movie it's still. Out of the three movies, um, that of course with the uh, DCEU, it's my favorite one. Um, I, I, For I, sure, I, I, I see why it gets hate, but then people have to understand there's different interpretations of characters. But uh, with the Justice League, of course, the return of Superman is going to be a thing. Uh, you can see, um, at least in the trailer they showed, I believe it was last year. You saw they trying to put in humor. How much of that is gonna be in there? Flash is gonna add that. Yeah. Here's the thing. Like with Flash, I don't like the effects with the Flash. Mm. I don't like the blue, like the way, like the that was a very was. early installment of it, though. So I'm not gonna judge it. Yeah. Oh, so hopefully they they change from that. But still, even when you saw him in Suicide Squad for that brief moment, it still looked the same. Yeah. I think the one from the TV, the at least in terms of what well, the character models don't look good because it's obviously the computer generated. The way the yellow streak and everything look, yeah, I like that's that. Just like that's just from the comic. That's exactly from the comics. You look at the comic and you see he had like the yellow trail and all that. I like that. I don't think they're gonna deviate from what we've seen and that uh from what we've seen from Justice League. But that's a small grievance. That's not going to determine if the movie's going to be good or bad. Um, but he's going to he's gonna be there. Of course, his movie comes out, I believe, next year. Aquaman movie comes out next year. Um, Cyborg, I think it's like 2019 or something like that. And yeah. they haven't even picked Green Lantern. They've, saying, they've been saying Green Lantern. Ah, uh, here we go. Be in there. <laughs> but they don't even know which Green Lantern they're going to use. I'm predicting... Hal Jordan, he's the most popular one. A lot of people want John Stewart. Yes. But I don't think it's gonna be John Stewart. Hal Jordan is the most popular one, and they're going with the more of a New Fifty Two team. Hence, why uh, if you look at the New Fifty Two, Cyborg's team, in it. Cyborg, uh, Cyborg essentially takes the place of uh, Martian Manhunter. Uh, mm-hmm. You got Hal Jordan as your Green Lantern, Barry Allen as your Flash, not um, the comic version of Wally West, original Wally West. 
Um, it would have worked better if it was Wal- it was their um, other team because then you can have Barry Allen on TV and you can have Wally West on. Yeah, because it would have worked better because the Wally West the TV show uses is the new Fifty Two Wally, but the yeah. other Wally still exists, the um, original one. Yeah. So um, let me see. Uh, team changes. You got Shazam because uh, you know they've been talking about a movie with The Rock. Oh, The Rock's gonna Black kill it. Them. <laughs> so you know, apparently he's in multiple movies too. Apparently he's gonna be with uh, Superman in a movie too. Apparently, yeah, it's at least talk, the they, rumors. They've been talking a lot about that, but I think they need before they come out with that, they need to go ahead and you know uh, at least who, who's your who's your Green Lantern? Your movie comes out this year. Who the hell's Green Lantern? <laughs> is, is he gonna be mentioned? I don't think he's gonna be in the because it, it's not it's no longer a two parter. But there are two different movies, so the other one's going to be called something different, but we don't know what it's called. But um, I don't know who, who the hell is Green Lantern. You're trying to tell me you don't have a Green Lantern. In terms of popularity, it's bad. I don't understand why he's not in the first one. Why is he not in the first it, it could Justice be, it, There's a chance he could be there. But I, like I said, we don't even know who's going to be playing him. So I'm... I'm pretty much. I I, I, don't, I just don't think he's gonna be in there, but it still could happen, or some mention of him or something. But I want to see him. But in terms of popularity, okay, Batman. Oh yeah, Batman's the number one guy. Superman, yeah. Wonder Woman. You got your Holy Trinity. Then it's Flash. Then it's Green Lantern. Yep, for sure, no and doubt. You don't have a Green Lantern yet. You didn't show him. You didn't mention anything about him. And I, I kind of get why because he he's more of a um, universal thing. thing. He's, Green Lanterns are, are pretty much like univer, um, universal cops or whatever. You know, they, they patrol different yeah. sectors during, in the galaxy and whatever. So I get that. But uh, the fact that they haven't cast a Green Lantern kind of, I don't know what they're doing. They're, they're saying the movie comes out is going to come out, but Cyborg is going to get a movie. Before before Green Lantern. They got their cyborg actor. They got the movie slated. We've seen things about cyborg. Before Green Lantern. And this is one thing that just kind of. It really it really confuses me. But. I I get it. You know. Uh, Captain. I mean. Uh, Iron Man was done before. In terms of that universe. He was done before a lot of the other characters. He was done before Captain America. He, Iron you know, Man was the first Captain movie. America. Yeah, he he was, and and when it came out, Hulk, and um Hulk and Captain America were more popular characters. Now, oh, until that until that movie came out. Yeah, that that's changed. I mean, his, his popularity is shot through the roof. But mm-hmm. you know, I understand that. But you're doing. You're doing a team up movie, see, because they didn't have, they didn't mention anything when that first Iron Man movie came out. They didn't mention anything of a team up. Uh, didn't they at the end? Um, no, they they were talking about he was uh he was talking about getting a team together, but okay, just, I, I was like comparing it to okay, you had Superman, you had Batman, you had Batman, Superman, Super. Oh, Superman. you didn't know about the other characters yet. Is what you're saying? Yeah, we we didn't know there was gonna be an Avengers movie with these characters in there. No, we didn't know what was gonna happen. We, we saw kind of like the Easter egg at the end where they were talking about the um, other characters. And the people dug for it. It wasn't really known to everyone like how it is now. We know it's gonna be a Justice League movie, and they don't have all their characters. You know, a lot of people are speculating that we probably won't see Superman to the end of the movie. Ridiculous. That's why Which that's why you don't kill him? It, it could could be a good thing. <laughs> We don't know who the villain is, so I mean, hopefully they stay hush hush on that because there was a problem with Batman. Isn't Superman. it uh, Stephen Wolf? Villain? Yeah. Uh, the villain's probably gonna go with that. They want to go with Dark Side at some point. It's probably Dark Side's probably gonna be the second movie. I don't know. If it's gonna the be second the movie. movie. Let me let me look it up. Oh, but, yeah. But I'm gonna stay optimistic about the movies because. Like I said, there's things... Like I said, I like Man of Steel. I thought Batman and Superman, they just tried to do a lot. Hopefully, kind of slow down, try to stop... Don't try to put a lot in it, because you already have to juggle between multiple characters. 
And it, I was still surprised when Avengers was able to do that and uh, succeed with it. I think it's supposed to be Steppenwolf. Okay. Because he's going to be like a like a pawn to Darkseid. Kind of thing, I think. I'm, I'm kind of surprised they're doing Justice League so early. This one, when they first announced, I was like, they're doing this early. I wasn't expecting to see it till 2019. After I re- I really hope it's good. Yeah. Because I mean, it as long as it's a good, like even though they haven't shown every to everyone about all the different characters, I want it to be a movie where someone who, let's say, they don't know a lot about. A lot of these characters. Of course, people know who Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman are. But let's say they don't know who Aqu- you know, they don't know a lot about Aquaman. They don't know yeah. a lot about Cyborg. I think Aquaman's going to sell himself. The guy looks like a freaking beast. Man. You know, they, they don't know about Shazam. They can still go into that movie. Shazam's probably not going to be in there. But they can go into that movie and still enjoy the movie without being being confused, you know, so to speak. And we, hmm. yeah, we got people that talk about what Inception was a movie. Inception was a fucking well written movie. One. Inception? Because you, you have people. Cause they it's were like, a well, great. This is like an all time great movie. Yeah, because you have people like, well, Inception was difficult to understand. But here's the thing like, dialogue, oh. characters. If you you had freaking Leonardo movie, DiCaprio in the movie. Yeah, if you paid attention to the entire movie. You will understand it. If you miss certain parts, probably wouldn't. There's a movie you can't miss anything. Yeah, that's the point of the movie, almost. Yeah, but and and it, 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 it stuff was explained at some point. Yeah, Batman and Superman was the definition of how not to do a movie when you're trying to do a lot of things. Yeah, if you're doing that many things, you have to be able to explain it to people. Uh, obviously, we know. Um, see, and when I'm talking about it, I'm speaking of. Oh, I know it's gonna happen. For instance, Batman and Superman showed the uh, the dream sequence where it was like um, pretty much apocalypse. Yeah, the planet apocalypse, you know, which hints towards one of the justice, the second. Yeah, justice that's that's supposed to be side. in the second one. Yeah, apparently you saw Batman using a gun. I can tell you how many people looked at look was looking like what was going on. Then they found out he was sleeping. Was but people were like was that real? Or then you saw Barry Allen come. You saw him come through uh, the Speed Force. He was talking to um, to Bruce. You didn't know what the hell that was. I knew what it was, <laughs> but I so I can't really speak from the confused. Yeah, point, it, it, but I can understand. It, when what you're having to be, when you're a fan like that, Calvin, and like for example, if you're watching the movie and then people are having to ask you questions, it's not a good movie. Yeah, Fortunately, like constant I'm questions bad. about what is going on. Why did that happen? Who is that person? I, there, there if was that's a little kid that was confused. <laughs> At the end of the movie, he was he was wondering, like I, I guess he he was asking his dad about different parts during the movie, and I was like, yeah, yep. I can see why someone would be confused. Or, oh, I'm not gonna rag on Batman Superman. We I think we ragged on it, but yeah. uh, just I just want to say I just want to say that before we get into other ones, I mean this, like I really want this to be really good because DC is is always been my favorite. DC's always been my favorite. Yeah. So for me, I really want this to be good because I constantly have people. I grew uh, up on Batman, spe- like in terms of yes. animated, animated yeah. stuff. I grew up on Batman because then I have series. to. T- <laughs> I know it, that same. So it's it's like you know I'm 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 like to people that especially love Marvel. They're always bugging me about this stuff, you know. But I always have to tell them because people forget that DC was mostly the dominant brand. I mean, until the Marvel movies came out, yeah. and then. And then they started dominating the landscape. So eighties, early nineties. It's uh, bugging me now. Eighties, early nineties, uh, DC dominated, especially live action. Marvel had nothing. Marvel had nothing. Mm. Yeah, uh, they did come out of a Punisher movie with Dolph Lundgren. Terrible. <laughs> they came out like the ninety, uh, early nineties. It was terrible. You know, you, back then, you had the Christopher Reeves Superman, you had the Tim Burton Batman. Yeah, DC was doing really good then. You know, you still had you had your comics. Then you had in the nineties, you had Batman the animated series. You had Superman the animated series. Justice League. Yeah, I, I think yeah. Marvel did okay in terms of nineties comic uh, cartoons because I, I do like Spider Man. I really like the Spider Man one. Yeah, yeah. That, that was probably one I would say I watched the most. 
um, in terms of the Marvel stuff. But uh, at least with um, overall Marvel, they, they, I think Snyder, I gotta get, they gotta get Zack <laughs> Snyder up out of there. <laughs> they don't want to get him out of there. They gotta get him out of there. I, I, I think he has one more change. Cause oh, we didn't even talk about. I don't know if you were gonna get to this later, but they changed the Batman director. Yeah, they've been. I, I'm kind of. What's going on with that? I'm excited because it's gonna be the guy that does uh, Planet of the Apes. Ooh, I like Planet of the Apes. So yeah. I, it could be good. could be really good because Affleck said there's a lot of rumors about Affleck like does he want to get out of being Batman or is he only focusing on being Batman and not directing I think for his movie it's mostly about he doesn't want to be because if you think about it when you're filming a Batman movie you have to be in the costume and then you have to direct the movie at the same time I think he wants, like I, I think he wants a guy in there who can, who's gonna take some of yeah the, like, and uh, and can also know. help him right with his vision you know like they can go back and forth with it so i think that's what it's about i don't i don't buy into the rumors that affleck is like selling out to no, I not i don't think he's leaving man yeah, he, i don't think so he really wanted to make uh this batman movie so i, I think um I think the movie's going the whole deathstroke being a villain that's an amazing choice Mm-hmm. That's a really good choice. Isn't it? Isn't it Joe Manganiello who's doing it or mm-hmm. whatever? Mm-hmm. He looks exactly like him. I just wonder yeah. if he's going to be good. And so, I'm, I'm I'm definitely waiting. When did they say that was coming out? They give a date. Uh, for the Batman. Yeah. Uh, I probably know. like 2019. I thought. Ow! Damn. That's, wow. Or 2018. 2018. 2018. Uh, <laughs> it's only next year. Yeah. So, so I mean, I'm, I'm really, I hope, I really hope DC like really improves with the live action stuff because you you want Marvel to have some competition because right now they don't have a, in terms of quality. Mm. Sales, yeah. Yeah. Batman and Superman still did over a billion. Okay. Sales, yeah. So they're right there with them. Yeah. Sales. Sales, sales are gonna. You know, if you do a you know, movie by movie basis, or obviously overall Marvel just. Which is what it's about. Yeah. I mean. Sales is what it's about. Let's be honest. For them, but yeah. If your movie keeps getting not bad not press, for the fans, obviously. Yeah, if your movie keeps getting bad press, people are gonna go stop. Uh, not overall, still gonna do well, but you're gonna have less and less people come see your movie if your movie keeps kind of like get if your movie keeps doing bad in terms of uh, overall perception and uh, of course. Amazing like, Spider-Man too. Uh, <laughs> But uh, I think that'll do it for this video. We'll have a separate video talking about Marvel. I didn't want to kind of lump it together with this video. All right. But uh, Ooh. tell them. We've uh, had a long enough conversation anyways. Yeah. Tell them, uh, give them your uh, information, YouTube, Twitch. I mean, Twitter. Sorry. All right. Uh, at Mitch Milani on Twitter. M-I-L-A-N-I is the last name. And for YouTube, the bottom line view, all one word. Talk about sports. Talk about wrestling on there. So check it out. Uh, Thanks, guys. Thanks, Calvin. Yeah. And, of course, guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And subscribe if you already haven't. Peace.